Hello guys, welcome back. <laughs> My name's Jamie, if you are new. If you are new and for some odd reason you wanna stick around and continue to bask in the chaos that is my life on my channel, then subscribe down below. <laughs> Today I'm doing a collab with my friend Tabitha. Tabitha is another mom here on YouTube. She does homeschooling videos as well as natural and healthy living. And she is amazing and very inspirational as far as how they live their life, as well as Amy Grew, who is also a YouTube mommy, Alaskan mommy vlogger. She is collabing with us on this video as well. And so I'm really excited to be a part of this. She is amazing. She is absolutely amazing. And she has done homeschooling as well. So she's got a lot of good stuff to share. So we're gonna be talking about homeschooling with toddlers. Now I know that's a little overwhelming to think about. It's overwhelming for me to think about and I'm in the midst of it right now. <laughs> so by no means are we sharing the end all be all, this is how you do it and it's gonna be perfect tips. We are just gonna be talking about our experiences with it and if we can offer you some advice or some encouragement um, on the experience that we have and kind of just share that with you in hopes that it encourages your journey, then we have definitely done what we wanted do from this collab. So the first thing that I would share with you that has really helped us with homeschooling and having toddlers is to do stuff that includes your toddler with your older kids and their homeschooling experience. So for us, we start our lesson day off with a Bible story and I use the Horizons Preschool for this. I like it because it comes with different Bible stories and then corresponding worksheets, crafts, fun things that you can do that go with the Bible story and then continue on um, with them thinking about that topic or that um, lesson throughout the day. Jude is two and he can color, he can do the crafts. If he can't cut something out, he practices cutting. So he's still learning those skills that are important for him to learn. Uh, he might not do it at the level that his four and five year old brother and sister are doing, but he's still having fun and he's still a part of things. Following that lesson, if he's still interested and we're, we're moving on to like a worksheet or something like that, I will just go ahead and make a copy of whatever worksheet my older two are doing and I will give it to him. He is in the phase right now where he knows if he does not get the same thing that his older brother and sister get. So I absolutely have to make a copy of the same worksheet <laughs> so that he will be able to have it. He does not do the worksheet. I do not try to make him do the worksheet. He simply has the worksheet so he has the same one that they have and he can sit down with his pencil and he can pretend to be doing the same thing as them. He will usually like color in the squares or do whatever he wants, rip it, eat it, I mean. Which brings me to my next piece of advice. Once he starts losing interest, <laughs> find things for them to do when you're homeschooling that are gonna keep their interest, and basically it's just gonna keep them busy so that if you've got a two-year-old like me who will go find things to keep himself busy doing, he won't have to do that because he'll already have a child-proof safe activity that will keep him interested while I'm focusing on my other two. This is a time where I feel like those Melissa and dog products come in handy. Uh, most of them are wooden, they're puzzles, um, they're pieces, they're blocks, something that he can build with his hands that are special for him to use during this time. Now this is not to say that we don't have days where he is screaming and wants to play with them, he doesn't wanna do anything that I want him to do. Um, he's chucking Ninja Turtles across the room, throwing a fit, I'm trying to focus on my older two while he's screaming, like that's, that's real life guys, that happens. It definitely 100% happens. I try to find solutions for issues before they happen. And so most of the time it goes okay, but a lot of the time it doesn't. A lot of the time, most of the time, potato, potato. So try to find things that'll keep them interested and are going to be not like a huge mess because you don't wanna be super stressed out once you finish your lesson with like the gigantic mess of shaving cream and jello that are all over your floor now because that just, that sounds horrible. Snacks, let's talk about snacks because let's be realistic here. Toddlers, kids, adults, we all love us some snacks. I like to implement some kind of snack time for them because it breaks up the time that we're doing school and snack time is perfect for my toddler because he can come sit at the table and be a part of things once again. And then once again, it will help me to then focus my attention and um, direct any kind of teaching that I have to do with my older two. The last thing that I think has really helped us is that I work one-on-one -on -one with my oldest at the very end. And so that gives time for Ezra and Jude to go downstairs 
upstairs and play to go do something together to where Jude's not waiting the entire time while I'm working with Fiona and Ezra. I'm working with all three of them, then Jude is having an activity, I'm working with Ezra and Fiona, and then at the very end I'm working with Fiona and then Ezra and Jude can go play. And then once I'm finished with Fiona, they are all free to go play and have fun while I'm getting lunch ready. So as you guys can tell, homeschooling with a toddler is by no means perfect. We by no means have this down pat and know exactly what we're doing. We have babies that are crying and kids that are just doing what kids do sometimes. <laughs> but these are some of the things that I feel like have really helped me um, survive and somewhat thrive with homeschooling littles. Definitely go check out Amy and Tabitha's channel. They will be linked down below their videos. I can't wait to hear about the things that they have to share and take notes from some seasoned moms. Thumbs up if you guys can agree with me on that. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer in this video or want to chat with me more down below in the comments, then please feel free to comment down below. I'd love to get to know you better. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So once he is, so once he's been included in every, hey Jude, Jude. Oh. Trying to film this video has been close to impossible for me. I'm not really sure if we're gonna get this video up. I've got toddlers crying and whining. I've got babies. Yes, you have two smiley face balls on this, okay? It's gonna be like five minutes and then I'm all yours, okay? Okay.